Hi everyone, it's James here from the Studio Rats. And Paul from the Studio Rats. This is the one mm. you have been waiting for. We have a pair of katanas, katani, katani. Katani, I think. We've got your 100 watt 1x12. Yep. And my 100 watt 2x12. 2x12 is. Uh, red back, cream backs, and none of that matters. What the important thing is, is they are rigged up in stereo. So what we've done, we've we're using the stereo expand function at the back of the katana. Now you can do this if you've got two katanas, two katana mark twos, you plug an output from the line out, line out on the master katana, which is for this video, which is my one by 1200 watt katana. Then you go into the power amp in on the slave and then on the back of both, you switch them to stereo expand. And now that means that because a katana on its own is a mono amplifier, all well, the effects in it are mono, but what it means is that you get nice ping pong effects like this and also some of the modulation effects as well. And we, we better say thank you to uh, Matt and Mark from Boss for helping us out because yes. we did make a bit of a this is actually mark two of this video. Let's put it like that. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't work out something. And uh, there's, a, there's a term that we use called RTFM. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up. And that's what we should have done. And we didn't. And so, we didn't. hey. <clears throat> um, interesting stuff though. So, uh, master, slave. Yep. All the top panel controls are still very much active on the master. Yep. However, the slave is completely blanked out. None of these things work apart from the master volume. So we've matched the master volumes mm -hmm. on both amps. Um, and I'm I'm more than slightly impressed. It sounds enormous. It sounds huge. It's worth saying as well, we did have to go into the Katana Studio app. Yeah. And well, you can show yeah, how that Yeah, should I show everyone how to do yes, that? Yes, please, Let's yes. Do that. Okay, so yes, if you go into your chain, you need to make sure that it's switched to either chain two or chain one. Now the reason for this is because some of the modulation effects need to come after the amplifier because obviously an amplifier is mono, that then drives into the stereo effects, which then that's how you get your stereo width. Absolutely. So basically the stereo effects have to be after the amplifier. Exactly. So reverbs, delays, cori, choruses, cor <laughs> we're on that same thing again, have to be after the amp. Yeah. So that way the two individual amplifiers can go, ah, I know what to do, yeah. stereo effects. Exactly. And there's a lot of fun things been going on in there. So should we try some different sounds? Indeed. Okay, so if we go to, let's go to this patch here. So this is just an overdrive patch, the standard overdrive patch, pretty much what, what I normally always use, but with a stereo delay. Now, the stereo delay in the Katana is slightly different. We'll demonstrate that in a minute. Uh, this is actually a pan delay. Now the pan delay is basically what we would refer to as a ping, a ping pong, pong delay. Yeah. yeah. So got a very sort of light delay going on. Massive. It's huge. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something. Be crazy. Go. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to effects. Yeah. And I'm going to switch down to, if I can find it. I think it, it would I think seem only a... appropriate at the moment, wouldn't it? Yes, I think we need to pay a bit of respect. But to be fair, any more than that will mean we can't monetize the video, so. <laughs> yeah, and we need money, we need money. So switch it out. Let's switch, uh, let's try a couple of different sounds. It does sound really good. It sounds amazing. What's this one? So this is just a stereo chorus. Now, the reason why you switch out, the reverb's definitely stereo, but the chorus needs to be on chain one because the mod and the effects need to come after the amplifier, like we said before. Oh my God. That's massive. Hold on, what can we do here? What can we do? There's two, two songs.
one and sing it no don't no, no don't no all, all i want to hear is <laughs> love that love that and lastly so with this sound got really nice tight stereo slap back delay but let's check the chain again yep it's right so we're all right yeah it's um, when you wish you were playing on a big kind of stadium stage yeah. doesn't it, it sounds amazing i i mean for me i don't use the katana for live I haven't used it for ages for live, but well, no one's used anything for live. Well, that's true. For a while. That's true. But I think having two of the 100 watts now to go out live, that is that's an awesome rig. It's an amazing rig, and it's incredible value. You buy a single GAFC foot controller, of which we have one in there. Uh, one of these. Well, it doesn't here's, stick to a speaker. Here's one I planned earlier. One of them. One of them in there. Um, a stereo rig for under a grand. It's well under a grand. Well under a grand. And even with all the speaker <clears throat> mods we've done, it's probably still well under a grand for Absolutely. an amazing sounding rig. All your effects, all everything in stereo. It's yeah, huge. It's massive. It's gone, it's taken me back to my, the days when I had hair in the, in the, in the nineties. Did they have amps then? They did have amps. They did have amps. They didn't have this. I used to have a massive rack <laughs> full of gear. <laughs> so, yeah, so. It was simple to do. Yeah. Uh, a couple of things you have to remember. Obviously, the, the, the chain and the order of the effects is yep. all important here. Um, but it sounds great. I mean, it sounds really good. We're, we're, we are only tickling the amps at this stage. Um, yeah, we're on, we're on, I mean, it's, it's loud in here and we're on half a watt. It's, it's great. Um, yeah. I'm so impressed. And, and once again, um, Boss, Roland, same thing. Um, cracking job. That is a killer feature of this amp, mm. without a doubt. I mean, the amp sounds great. It's, you know, it's, it, it does sound great, but the killer feature of this amp is having two of them and, and stereo, stereoing, stereoing them up. It's, it's, it's probably not a real word, but it is now. Stereoing, yeah, it's not, is it? Play some more, because it sounds cool. <laughs> The scary thing is, so one of my first bands at school, the guitarist had two tuba 12s either side. Yeah. A rack with a Marshall JMP1. You said one of them. And what was the Alesis Quadriverb yeah, GT. Them. Yeah. Uh, and two Marshall monoblocks to drive the two amps. Wow. And it was, you know, a good three man lift to get it all in and a, and a struggle. And probably wouldn't sound as good as that. You could. Drag the whole lot in in one go. Guitar on your back, yeah. amps, pedal boards, the works. Yeah. And it sounds stonking. It sounds so good. I'm yeah. really impressed with, once again, the Katana has done it. Done, uh, it. done an amazing job. If you guys got something out of this, don't forget to like and subscribe and push that little bell button and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. Don't forget to actually push the like button. It really helps us with our videos and our ranking and that sort of stuff. All that sort of stuff. So my name's James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. From the Studio Rats, and we will see you again next time.